Yo, what's up, everyone? My name's Dave, and you suck at programming. Hey, look at that. It's on a t-shirt. If you want that, you can buy it. It's on my merch store. That's it. Sponsored content over. Okay, let's jump into it. Today, we're going to talk about the find command. You may have used this command on your terminal to find files. If you're on any sort of Unix-like operating system, you're going to have this command, and it's super useful, but there are a little, uh, there's a pitfall with it. There's a couple different pitfalls with it, but I'm going to talk about one in particular and how to catch it and how to better prepare yourself and fight against this sort of thing in the future when your shell might not be working the way you want it to work when it comes to the find command. Enough yapping, let's jump into it. So let's figure out where we are right now. We are in my You Suck at Programming repository. This is where I have every single episode and all the files associated with it. Yeah, there's a lot of episodes of the series. That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and, you know, in this series, I've talked about cringe and based scripts. So let's go ahead and let's find all of the files named cringe. There you go. That's how we can find all the files in our current directory with the exact base name of cringe. So this will match cringe, nothing after it, nothing before it. It needs to be the base name of the file and it will print the file separated by new lines. Hey, that's pretty simple. I also have uh, files named based. So there you go. There are all the files named based. But of course, you know there are wildcards with find. So I can say B-A-S-E star and this will match all of uh, the base scripts as well, right? What's happening here? That's super weird. Basement2.txt. That's really confusing. I don't know what that is. So let's go ahead and see. And we can see that there is a file in my current directory named basement2.txt. Okay, uh, it shouldn't be there. Let's go ahead and delete that. Let's rerun that find command. And what happens? We just get one file. This should match more, right? We search for based. It should be mass matching all of these, but it's not. So what's going on here? Why is this file here? Let's go ahead and remove basement1.txt and let's uh, reassert that this works. Okay. Now it works. So what's going on there? Well, I'll explain it to you because there's two different things here. We can talk about what's going on and how to actually fix it and work around it. So to get started, what I want to do is I want to recreate those files. So we had, what was it? Basement one and two dot text. So now those files are back created. So if we rerun that find command, you can see that we get the same error that we got at the beginning. This is just to illustrate the concept. So let's jump into this. If there is one thing that you will take away from this video, please let it be this because it is super useful. In bash, there's a printf command and printf takes specifier. So I can say percent %s for a string. And now any arguments I get will get sep or will get uh, substituted into that string. So foo bar baz, it will print foo new line, bar new line, baz new line. This is useful because any command that you were confused about running, you can put here. So find type, f or dash name base. So if I run this, we can see the exact arguments that the find command was going to be run with. So we can see what the shell has done if it's done any sort of substitutions or expansions or anything. This is useful because let's go ahead and run base star. This was the exact command we were running before. And what do we get? Look at this. This is how the find command is being executed. It's being called find with the argument dot dash name basement1.txt and basement2.txt. So this find command won't work. This is not what we wanted. What's happening here? Well, this expansion right here, this star is being expanded by our shell, not by the find command. So if we want it to be expanded by the find command, we need to actually pass it to the find command by putting quotes around it. Once we do this, Notice how it's different. See how this star is not being expanded. This the literal star character is being sent to the find command if we execute the find command. So let's go ahead and use this. Execute the find command, run it, and it works how we want it to. And look, we also find basement one and basement two text. So there's twofold here. The star was being expanded by find when we pass it to find, but if we don't use quotes. It can't be expanded by find. It can't be a wildcard according to find because find doesn't see a star. It only sees what bash has done to it and bash has expanded it. So the way you can get around this, use single quotes. This will help you avoid accidental globbing on your shell. Um, and if you're ever in a situation where the commands just not quite work in the way you want it to, like if I echo this and I'm like, wait, what's happening? What is echo actually getting? Don't forget this printf and then a string specifier with like a new line or whatever other character. And then you can see exactly how the command was ran and exactly what arguments are being given to it. This way, you won't get any sort of weird scenarios. You can actually make sure that things are being passed to the proper program in the way that you expect them to be passed in. So yeah, hopefully this helps you stay away from problems.